guys. So today I want to compare the two most powerful cars I have in my fleet. The Bugatti Vitesse Roadster and my Bugatti Chiron. Everything from the looks to the driving experience. How do they really compare? Hmm. Forgot my booties. Owning these cars, you got to do yoga. You can't get it. Oh. All right. the other beast out. Ah, I probably should use my booties for this one too. It's brown. I think I can handle a couple of things. Now unlike Chiron, this one you actually have to put the key in. is something else. So the big noticeable changes to the exterior is obviously focused more on the rear of the car. So obviously brake lights you can notice from the brake lights versus the Chiron that runs all the way across the back. Much bigger grill on the rear. The engine bay is obviously more covered and it has this center F1 inspired. I think that's for stability and cutting the wind into half as you do 261 miles an hour. But it also continues on the wing. That's pretty cool even with these two. When it's amazing how they so far focused on just dividing the air as you do that top speed whereas Weyron was just a nice round bumblebee and you come to the front and the horseshoe grill is positioned a little bit more straightforward than the Chiron and you have the same line that continues all the way to the wing to cut that wind and it's much more aerodynamic in my opinion it's just gorgeous my favorite part has to be the headlights let's take a look for the trunk space I'm assuming it's about the same but let's take a look hey I forgot I got more goodies in the trunk aha uh -huh. let's take a look I would say it's about the same actually you know what the Chiron has a bigger trunk space it's much deeper and this is removable and uh, my Hermes bag will fit perfectly right there but uh, I didn't even know I have a matching key no joke guys this is the first time I opened the front hmm. and this must be the speed speed key which we're not gonna use today because I can't do 200 miles an hour on the streets all right well Nate remind me to take this stuff out <laughs> That's about it. Of course, even the mirrors are more aerodynamic on the Chiron. This line they continue throughout the car is very prominent. You can even see it on the fenders. So everything's designed about cutting the wind and keep it aerodynamic and getting downforce. Because this does 261 miles an hour versus the Vitesse, that are fastest roaster car in the Guinness World Book. And I think that's 254 miles an hour with the top off. Isn't that something? So that was all exterior. Let's hop in and take a look in the inside. Well, personal difference. In this one, I gotta wear booties. On the other one, 
it's brown. Uh, it's not as noticeable when it gets dirty. Oh, my God, I gotta do more yoga. All right, as you can tell, the steering wheel has all the controls focused on the driver steering wheel versus the Betis and Veyrons, the old generation. A lot of the controls and switches were focused and installed on the center console. So you got your, uh, let's fire it up. No key. That was cool. All I had to do bring the key close by and boom. So you got all your climate control up here. So there's four knobs and it's all have to do with air, flow, heat, cold, and there are hazard lights here and that's about all you get that's installed on the center console which I like because you don't have to you know doing 200 miles an hour you don't want to be focused on the center console you want to have everything at your fingertips Wow right off the bat as soon as you step out from the Chiron and you get into an old Veyron it is 2014 not that old but feels like a classic car this is simple aluminum steering wheel. All you have is your pedal shifters and there is really no technology at your fingertips. So that's the first noticeable difference. Again, but you do have that huge center console here that has your radio, audio, and you got your climate control. So this is all for your air climate control. And nice thing with this car, it has a CD player, which I've never used, but who uses the CDs anymore? Honestly, the Chiron Hermes seats are much more cushiony and comfortable. This one's pretty stiff. So, I don't know. So far, I gotta go with the Chiron. But let's take it for a spin and see how it really drives. You guys ready? Boy, I love the design they made with this car. Just the two-tone leather, cognac and cigar leather they use that goes all the way across the dash. Seamless, all the way to the passenger door. It's really, really neat. Very elegant. to have a convertible when you live in California. Oh, mother lord. Obviously, with topless, you're gonna have a lot more noise. So, you can't really carry out a conversation on your Bluetooth cell phone. That's one disadvantage with having a Roadster, Bugatti, or any Roadster. So, I have it in the handling mode which is manual, I use a pedal shifter, so it's, a, it's not as smooth, but let's just be fair and put it in auto and see how it shifts. Pretty smooth, eh? Now, when it comes to braking, hold on to your camera. <laughs> So to sum it up, this car is loud because you got the top off. It's pretty smooth, but still feels pretty stiff. Maybe it's the Hermes seats in the other car, but eh, no complaints. Let's go try the Chiron. All right, it's time to try the Chiron. The best part, I don't have to look for my keys. I just gotta push the engine button. We gotta put this on auto just to be fair to the Vitesse. I don't know, to me it seems so much smoother. Maybe it's just because it's new, but I know for a fact it has a brand new suspension versus the old Veyrons. And that was one of the big improvements Bugatti made was the suspension. And extra 400 horsepower does help when you're pressing on the gas. Oh my god! Alright. Even though the Vitesse is 1200 horsepower, but this car is so smooth. It just wants to go. And it doesn't make 
make a fuss about it. The Vitesse makes so many noises. This one just smooth and quiet. I noticed the cockpit is a lot quieter than the Veyron. This car, when it gives it all its power, is so effortless. Versus the Veyron, you definitely feel the power kicking in. <sighs> all right. This car, it has amazing power, amazing design, and yet, so comfortable and that's what I love it now if I have to smoke a cigar it's a nice sunny day sorry guys but this has to do because I'm never gonna smoke a cigar in this car all right guys that's it for today this was just a little taste maybe one day I'll take him to the track and really see what these cars are made out of to sum it up if I had to choose one hands down I'll go with the Chiron but because I love smoking cigars and I live in California I'm gonna have to hold on to both because this car is just a different experience driving down PCH in a nice sunny day and smoking a nice fat cigar. Make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel. There is more videos to come. Until next time, God bless you. And let me know down below which one would you take. A lot of my success has been through trial and errors. Over the past 28 years, had I had a mentor early on, I would have saved a lot of money and lots of time and avoid a lot of pitfalls. So lucky for you, I'm giving you the opportunity to be mentored by me. I created something I wish I had when I got started. We call it Manny Koshpin's Millionaire Mentorship.